Hey there YouTube, Boomerang507 here. Once again, it's been about a week since I've done a video, sorry. Um, I, I don't know if I should just say that I'm just only going to do videos once a week because it's just not really working to do a video every day. Um, I will try to do them more often, but I can't make any promises, I guess, because, well, the evidence just doesn't support that I could do a video more than once a week. Um, anyway, I've been kind of fighting with my laptop and my zebra printer in eBay labels, and it's been a huge pain in the butt. Um, they'll print like part of the label and then sit for a little bit and print another part of the label. And, and then like five minutes later, it'll print the whole label sometimes if it doesn't error out. Um, for a while, I got it to work by going back a version of Java. Um, and then something happened. Oh, Firefox decided that that version of Java wasn't secure enough and decided to block it. So if you're using Windows 8 and you have a Zebra printer and you're fighting with it and it's printing like ridiculous quantities of labels that aren't correct, you'll want to use Chrome as your browser and download the Seagull driver for the Zebra printer. Um, I found that combination was the only thing that worked. I have been fighting with it for a couple of days now, um, reinstalling Java and checking the security settings and clearing the cache and it was ridiculous. Um, but I, I think that's the combination that's going to do it. Chrome Seagull browser. Do it. Um, anyway, did a little thrifting this week. Didn't find a whole lot. Um, of course, I guess it's only Tuesday. Um, but I thought I'd show you what I found. Um, Goodwill found this Reebok Play Dry. Um, it was $9. However, it's new with tags. It's got a TJ Maxx tag and it's still got the Reebok tags on it. And it's um, one of those compression shirts with the padding on the sides. Um, football players like to wear these because these little pads um, protect the area that's exposed between their pants and the shoulder pads. Um, so it doesn't really feel like a whole lot, but apparently it helps. So uh, yeah, I found that for nine bucks. I think these start at $40. So should be able to make a pretty decent profit from that. Um, then my Goodwill today, yes, Sunday and Monday, it has half off a certain color of tag. And then Tuesday, anything that color for the week goes to $1.99. Um, there usually isn't much left by Tuesday, but I managed to find a Columbia button front for two bucks. So picked it up. It's in great condition. I don't have a real good luck with yellow. Um, but for two bucks, Columbia, eh, we'll go with it. Um, I found an Eddie Bauer Legend, one of those fishing shirts for $5. And again, it's like the Columbia Professional Fishing Gear Vented Fishing Shirts. Um, this one is Eddie Bauer's version, and it's a nice looking shirt. I don't know what's the matter with these people not wearing their nice clothes, but it works for me since I guess I can take them and resell them. Um, this was kind of an interesting find. Cliff Angle Limited. Um, it was six bucks and it's an Atlanta Falcon sweater. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. It kind of looked pretty old school to me. Um, it's an acrylic sweater. Feels like acrylic. Yeah, 75% Orlon, 25% wool. Um, pretty cool though. And then, uh, let's see, I found a Fisher Price, one of those wooden preschool puzzles. It's the barn. Um, it was two bucks. Um, these stupid wooden puzzles are expensive. So um, they had a couple others, but they were all beat up. So I just took the one that was in good shape. Um, it was two bucks. I might have said that already. I don't know. Um, and then I found this for $3. It's a Taj Mahal kit. Um, and it's just die-cut wood. 
rebuild the Taj Mahal. Try to get that glare. There we go. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. It should be easy to ship. It's kind of heavy. It'll definitely have to go priority, but um, very easy to ship since it's nice and rectangular. Unlike the Taj Mahal. Anyway, I'm a big dork. Um, I also... I also found a Nike t-shirt, which my son took, and a pair of Adidas workout tight pants for myself. Um, and then I guess the other thing I found was this avalanche kind of pullover. Um, avalanche Outdoor Inspired Apparel Company. Um, pretty nice looking pullover. It's kind of one of those polyester type jacket pullover sweater sweatshirt type things um when i did a search in the store of course all i was getting was colorado avalanche stuff but um i picked i just took a chance anyway because it's in perfect condition and it's really nice i was also super bummed at uh, salvation army there was a mary mako or mary Ma ah, anyway coat um but it had some issues on the sleeve, um, just totally destroyed on one sleeve. When I looked that up on eBay, they started at 150 bucks. I was kind of bummed. Um, and I thought about picking it up anyway and just disclosing it, but it was just so bad that I don't, I don't think anybody would want it. Um, but hopefully that means in a few more days they'll get through processing things and there will be more high-end stuff like that um so yeah i need to get some stuff photographed uh there's hockey practice tonight and me making weird faces i guess because i kind of lost my train of thought there so anyway, um, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, if you're using Windows 8, it's Google Chrome and the Seagull browser. Thanks for watching.